Hi, Master and Nun here. Welcome to the bathroom in my basement. Um, you may be wondering why we're in the bathroom in my basement, and that would be because this is the second of the wine videos. We started the day one wine brew in an earlier video. Um, since then, there actually was some stuff that I probably should have recorded that I didn't. Uh, first of all, after a couple days, the uh, fermentation on the wine kind of tapered off and I had to grab another pack of yeast that I actually had on hand. I put that in some warm water, probably around 100 degrees, with some sugar and let that go for about four hours for that yeast to multiply. And then I mixed that in there and got it a kickstart. And then at uh, some point in the, in the gravity readings, remember we talked about that specific gravity that starting gravity that I think was around 1.08. When it got around 1.04, I mixed in a, a yeast nutrient. And that was, I didn't record that one. I didn't record the first one because it was just kind of heat of the moment. I wanted to make sure that that batch of wine didn't uh, fail. So I quick did something to it to keep it going. And then the second one, there's just not much to it. It literally was mixing in this yeast nutrient in a, what was it, like a half a cup of lukewarm water and then mix it into the wine. So the wine's been going strong now for close to two weeks. It shouldn't have took that long, but with the with the, how the, the fermentation kind of tapered off there at first, I let it go a little bit longer. But now our wine's down to the point where we need to rack it into a carboy. I don't know if you've ever seen one of these. This looks like the big jug of water that you might see at a water cooler. This is how things are typically some people ferment in them for their initial fermentation, but most people use them as uh, secondary ferment fermentation devices, and that's what we're going to do today. Um, now, as, as I said before, uh, at every step we sanitize stuff. This is Star Sand. This is what I use to sanitize, and the mixture for when you're doing a, something like this is one ounce to five gallons of water and you know I need a full five gallons of water because I'm gonna record a, a another video today after this of uh, beer fermentation so I filled up my fermenter with water and then I put a little over an ounce of that into the fermenter to, fer to sanitize everything that we're gonna need for that video and this video I decided to kill two birds with one stone I washed this with PBW, which is uh, powdered brewer's wash, and then rinse it out with some star sand and then let it dry for a while. And into that, we're going to put these oak chips. This is charred oak chips. So you're kind of, cut that open, church out of there. You're simulating what you would get if you were to age this wine in like an oak barrel. So, oh, those smell great. This is just kind of charred oak barrel chips. So those go into the bottom of the fermenter. And that's gonna help simulate that aged barrel type flavors in your wine, even though you're not gonna age it out in a barrel and we're going to get it from the fermenter into that carboy and this is a auto siphon so basically this is two tubes one of which has a hose hooked to it this end of the hose is going into our carboy and when you go like this it's going to force the wine through the tube so Instead of siphoning, like if you've ever siphoned gas where you suck on the hose and you end up getting a mouthful of gas, this just does all the work for you. And it's much nicer to work with. I guess with wine, it wouldn't be as bad as with gasoline, but this is what we're going to use to get the wine from our fermenter into the carboy. So that's what we're going to do next. So now we have our auto siphon with the top part of it up in our fermenter and the hose running down into our carboy so we just start the siphon 
as oh fail all right we lost a little bit on the floor there we start the siphon and now it's just a matter of waiting you just wait for it to siphon out from the fermenter up top down to your carboy down here and it's going to take a little bit so we'll probably I don't know fast forward this or something and hopefully it won't be as terrible sounding as when we ran the high speed video outside in the wind but uh, it's going to take a little bit I'll actually we'll show you here you know the fermenter is well the carboy here is five gallons the fermenter here is about six gallons up to the top of the rim it's you know so it's plumb full of wine that we've got to move from down there through the auto siphon down into the carboy here so it's obviously going to take a little bit so we're just going to let that run its course and we might actually just pause it here until it's done that sounds like a better idea so we'll get back to you in oh well it's actually up to here already so we'll get back to you in i say approximately 10 minutes okay here we are we've got this thing topped off um there's not much more to it today this i hope you guys have never watched uh beavis and butthead but this is a bunghole cover and into this there's a little hole in the top and we can re-put in Mr. Airlock that we had from the earlier video just in case there's still some fermentation to go on and now we're just going to let this sit with the yolk chips for about 10 days before we add our clarification agents and that's going to settle down any sediment that's still in there and then we move on to bottling so thank you hope you enjoyed the video hope you enjoyed my uh my bath my basement in my or my bathroom in my basement uh this is a brewing video so like i said to brew you also have to drink at the same time so forgive me if i'm a little slippery tongued this evening but uh this is the part two of the winemaking video and like i said before it's uh something you can do to uh sometimes save a little money or just for fun and i enjoy doing it and this i hope my wine my wife's going to enjoy because she likes to drink some pinot noir so thank you for watching like and subscribe and i'll be back real soon for if you're not a wine drinker i'll be back with day one of a beer brew